Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2022. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Shift Channels effect to get an RGB split look. It's also known as chromatic aberration or distortion. Basically, the red, green, and blue color channels have shifted just a little bit. They're not in alignment, so it creates this fringe of color around the edges. To apply the Shift Channels effect, First, select the layer in the Layers panel. Go up to the Effects and Presets panel. If you don't see that, go to Window, Effects and Presets, and do a search for Shift. So S-H-I-F, there's the Shift channel under the channel. I'm just gonna click and drag it right onto the footage. Once you have added the Shift channel's effect to the footage layer, which can be photos, videos, text, and more, now you need to duplicate it so you have a layer for each channel. So I'll hit Command-D, Command-D. I'll hit Command-D one more time. I'm gonna turn off this bottom layer, which I'll use as a before and after. I'm gonna select this bottom one, hit Enter or Return. I'm just gonna call this Original, so I know not to touch that one. I'll select this layer, hit Enter or Return, call it Red. I'll select this one, Enter or Return, call it Green. Then select this last one, Enter or Return, call it Blue. You select the channel that corresponds to a color. So in this case, I have red selected, so we wanna take red from red. We're keeping the red on, and we're turning off the other two colors. So I'm gonna take green from, I'm gonna turn that off by clicking, turn full off, take blue from, click on it, turn off, and since it's on the bottom, you don't see any changes, but if I was the sole of this layer, now you can see that only the red channel is visible. And repeat this for the other two layers. I'll select the green layer, I'm gonna come up here, take red, we wanna turn off red. Take green, we want to keep green on. Take blue, we want to turn off blue. Select the blue layer, take red, turn it off. Take green, turn it off, keep on the blue. So now we have the blue, the green, and the red. The next step is to change the blend modes for the top two layers to add. And if you do not see the mode column, go down to the very bottom and click on toggle switches and modes. So I'm gonna select the green layer, click on the dropdown and change it to add. I'll do the same for the top layer, in this case, the blue channel. Click on the dropdown and change it to add. If you do things correctly, there should be no change from the original footage. And now for the fun part, select the red layer. Make sure you have the selection tool selected, that's keyboard shortcut V. All you're gonna do is use the arrow keys and nudge the layer by tapping on the arrow key. So I have the red layer selected with the selection tool. I'm gonna tap on the left arrow key, but you can go in any direction. So I'm just gonna tap, 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 tap. And you should see around my cheek, there's that little red, a little blue, there's green over here. You can see it in my eyes. Nudging the red channel may be all you need to get a good subtle effect but you can select the other channels, just tap on the arrow keys to get the look you're going for. And if you make a mess, select all three channels, go to the align panel and just align it to the center. That will align the channels and then you can just repeat, select the channel, tap on the arrow key. Here is a more extreme example where I applied the shift channels on text to give it that kind of TikTok look. I just added a wiggle effect to give it some movement. And here I applied the shift channels effect on a video to give it a more retro or vintage look. And that is the shift channels effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2022. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.